Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you an amazing reaction, which is an alternative to using bromine to test for the presence of a double bond in a compound. So this is the oxidation to a diol. We're going to be using an oxidizing agent called potassium manganate 7 in acidic conditions. That's what I'm preparing right now. The acid I'm using is dilute sulfuric acid. You'll see the potassium manganate 7 go into the acid. It will make a purple solution. Now, you don't need to know the full details of how this reaction occurs at GCSE and A-level, but just think of the reaction as oxidation followed by addition. So the potassium manganate 7 provides an oxygen atom, which is the oxidation part, and the water that's in the solution provides another oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So overall, you add an OH on one side of the double bond and an OH on the other. Now, what I'm going to use is cyclohexene, but it looks a little bit different to the cyclohexene that you might know yourself because I put an orange additive. This is just to show which part is the organic layer. You'll see it floating at the top and which part is the aqueous layer. So I'm going to add my alkene to the potassium manganate 7. You can see it's just right at the top, I'm not shaking it. I'll just give it a little waggle and now already you can see that there is a decolorization. So the color of the potassium manganate 7 solution is changing from purple to colorless. And that color change means that this reaction can be used just like bromine to distinguish alkenes from alkanes because alkanes do not have double bonds and so are not oxidized this way. The product is a diol. It has an OH on one side of the carbon double bond where the double bond was and it has an OH on the other. So you have the pi bond opening up and you have two brand new sigma bonds forming between the carbon and the oxygens that are coming in. So we've got a one, two dial. Thanks very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Take care.